This white tail season has been so weird already. And we're a week and a half in. I'm in here tonight. At a spot I haven't scouted. I just know there's normally a bunch of acorns in here. I'm trying to get away from everything. Get away from pokes. Actually have a normal hunt. <sighs> If you haven't gotten a chance to see what happened to me in the first week of the season, go back and watch it. You'll see how I got off to such a weird start. So now I'm just trying to recenter and start over when this buck starts meandering into my set. As I am debating shooting this deer or not, the decision suddenly gets made for me. turn to see this another person walking through the woods The next few weeks are a drought, no shooters and few deer sightings. And then the next few weeks are the same. Open. 
every hunt seems to have something go wrong. So I talked yesterday about not being in a rhythm like at all this season. I, I've proven it yet again by legitimately leaving my boots in the garage. So I'm hunting in Crocs today. Man, you can talk about not having it together this year. That's rough. I didn't have a plan this morning. I just took off and I got in here a little late because it was already really light. I am now using my platform as a seat and I am just sitting on the ground out a big tree. This will not work. Let me rephrase this. If this works, it will be the only time that something like this would work, especially with a bow. The 2022 deer season monkey still has a firm grip on my back. I don't have another interesting hunt until November 17th. The minute I get done checking the camera there, I turn and am eye to eye with a buck. I'm not sure if it's the same one or a different one, but for a solid three minutes, we are in a staring contest until he finally decides to move. But as I draw, he bolts and I can't find a clear lane to let it fly.
I move up about 60 yards to be closer to the trail that most of the deer seem to be using, and before I can find a good place for the camera, I see another buck coming. I call and try and get him into range. After that, I figured that my day was over, but I had one more surprise. So I spotted this big buck driving down the road, and he's on public. He's been trying to cross the road on this side, so I'm just trying to sit here and get up on him, kind of wait on him to get here. I just hope he's still across the road. This nice old lady stopped and talked to me when she saw I had an air knock because he was standing in the road. Not to drive and vlog. Second, that was crazy. That's the biggest buck I've seen in several months. I, I had a really good plan until that very nice lady decided she wanted to stop and talk to me while he was standing in the middle of the road. And I think she hit on me. She told me I should be on the cover of a magazine, which is not the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me over here. Exhausted my free time. But what a cool morning, though. Like, for what I thought was going to be absolutely terrible, you saw gobs of deer, three close calls at seven point, that little bitty eight that I called in, and then that last big eight. I say big eight, he's decent. He's the biggest one of the three. I know that much. But gracious life, man. Gotta keep this up. Let's go. The rest of the season was similar to the start. Lots of sign, lots of effort 
but very little luck. Everything felt just out of reach. So now it's January, and I'm trying my hand in the AL. Sorry for the super close-up, but we're in pretty tight quarters here. We literally ran down to Alabama to try and catch a couple days before the season closes down here. I'm in a spot where they've been getting a ton of pictures of, uh, of several different de decent bugs working this high-tension power line. Uh, to snatch victory out of the jaws of defeat, as they say, wouldn't mean a lot. So we already ran a bunch of turkeys off this field, and there's deer way down the power line. Let's punch some tags, baby. They're manifesting this for 2023. I gotta say it. Tagged out in 23. Gonna be my mantra for this year. Tagged out in 23. We're here to, you know, not just bring art and nature and philosophy this year. We'll bring it home the goods. For all the recon, not much shows up this afternoon. Just a bunch of turkeys. and a few deer at dark, but I've got another full day tomorrow. The morning breaks and I am quickly greeted by my friends from last night. I watch them try and entertain me, but weather moves in quickly and stops the show. Luckily, the sun peeks out and we're ready for the afternoon. The afternoon passes quietly with some distant deer and one lone yearling, but from across the farm, a shot rings out. Keeping par with how tough this season's been on me. Dad came down so he could hunt this afternoon, but I was in the good spot and he just shot and said that he, that was, it's a good one. Dad didn't get jacked up about much, so if he's using exclamation marks, it's probably a real good one. At least we'll have one more recovery video to show you. Oh, what a year, man. What a year. Hey, 
right there. And he just went around there, went in there and didn't, didn't go very far. Mm -hmm. I'm both thankful for this buck and envious. I'm glad for my dad to get one more, but I wanted to notch a tag. Yet, I wasn't given the chance. Or it feels more like I wasn't deemed worthy. Humility is a hard-won virtue, and I was given a bitter spoonful this year. I suppose over the next couple of months, I'll have to try and right whatever offense I may have committed and apologize to nature like an old friend.